we are here at the Indy Duel in Detroit. This is Brian. He's the assistant engineer for Brian Herter Racing. Tell me a little bit about what makes an Indy car an Indy car. This Indy car right here is a Delara Indy car. It's a spec car. Everybody in the series has the exact same car. Powered by a Honda in our particular case. It could be a Honda or a Chevy. It's a V6, 600 horsepower, direct inject, single turbo engine. All right, I see you've got a little gadget down here. Explain this complicated looking steering wheel to me, please. This is Alex's main control to the car. Most everything he needs is on the steering wheel, so he never takes his hands off the wheel. The latest two things that came out, the first was paddle shifters, which have been on street cars for a while. That's these two big gold switches on the back, an upshift and a downshift. Um, the best thing the owners like about paddle shifters is you can't over rev the engine on, on bad downshifts anymore. The computer locks it out. The next step was a fly-by-wire clutch, and that's what the top and bottom paddle is. Then the top display can be configured to whatever Alex needs to see at the time, and there's a button here that says page. We can flick through three pages of information, but primarily he gets his his readout on miles per gallon. The next field is lap time. That's what he cares the most about all the time. How quick is he doing? How's his pace? Where's he stand? And then the second field is showing him his current lap, how if he's up on his best time or down. Uh, the data logging system is what's most important to us as the engineering group. It records all the information on what's going on in the car. It sends it in real time to pit lane through uh, 4G cell phone antennas and an antenna array around the track so we get near 100% coverage and huge download speeds. So we get tons of data out of the car in real time. This whole steering wheel is on the order of uh, $30,000. There's so much technology in everything, right? Every little detail gets looked at. Even the grip has, uh, we have three different um, stiffnesses of rubber, just depending if we're oval racing or road racing or street racing. Well, make sure you watch Alex later today on ABC to watch this technology in action. You're not going to want to miss it.